What up, everybody? It's your boy, Bye We're back. Boys. Took a break, uh, early break, real quick. Um, I got that early flu. I wasn't feeling good. It was I, my, we're back. We just I'm gonna call it a World Series hangover for everybody. I feel like yeah. the, the city's been in slow mo. Uh, it still... kind of was because everybody was so like, "What did we win on Saturday?" Like Sunday, Monday, and like the early part of Tuesday, depending on what you did after the parade. It was all kind of one day. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually tired. I didn't go to the parade just because it felt like it. And then it was weird because daylight savings time hit. So it was even more time to party. And I actually went out and bought way too much Astro shit than I should have. And so right. now I'm like, I right, I'm going to chill on that because I got all season off season to get that. You know, what's fucked up. <laughs> is we go spend our money on this shit, right? You bring it home and it doesn't mean nothing. Like, I'm not wearing these shirts. They're just literally sitting on behind my desk. <laughs> There's fucking shirts everywhere. I bought this from a guy at the basketball league, and I thought it was way smaller. I thought it was, like, the size of this fucking book here. And I no, bought it home. And then we, we go – I go get an Alvarez jersey. I wanted one with the World Series patch. So then them fools didn't have none because they didn't have my size, evidently. So they had to make me one, and they charged me for that, too. Yeah, they Some guessing it. It's funny though, because now you look at the shirts and they're all on sale for like forty percent off and shit. I was like, oh cool, I'm gonna go go buy some merch. Eh? Yeah, I got yep. I ordered a hoodie. It was a not from the Astro store, but fuck it. Yeah. I I even ordered a shirt from my my cousin's uh uh Ram shirts. They made a shirt as an astronaut and holding the two fucking uh championships. Mm-hmm. And he said he's back ordered. So I guess since I'm family, I'm. One of the last. Well, I seen this one dude. He had a gray hoodie on and it had Orbit, and it said in Houston we smoke Phillies. And I wanted that that bitch so bad, but he wouldn't tell me where he got it. Probably made. I seen a few people actually. I think I have a homeboy that makes them that has it. If he does, let me know. On a gray the the one. dude that made this, I think he has that shirt. I'll, I'll ask him on. Uh, I'll write him tomorrow and figure that out. Sweet. We'll shoot, we'll shoot some uh, Houston shirt I, people. Bro, in the it's like. For you. The the fucking drama doesn't leave the Astros. We win a fucking World Series. We lose the GM. Yeah. Now we might yeah. have a crazy ass owner. What the fuck? It it's hard because uh I mean a lot of people are talking now. The the stories are coming out of why James Click was left, you know, what him his relationship with Jim Crane, the the rumors of what trades were going to happen. I know there was one talking about he did he bet on Myers and you know Myers wasn't the guy. It, it, it's a, it's funny how when it all settles down, everything comes out pretty much. But who's telling it? <laughs> Somebody's fucking saying shit. I'll say this though: if all that is true, then I would rather have had Dusty than Click because yeah, Dusty kept that shit off the field. Yeah. So that shit stopped in the offices. So I mean, did and we, all that shit. <laughs> we talked about it a few times on the shows. Well, you could see the animosity between both of them. Like they kind of rammed heads, especially after the trade deadline. Like, why aren't you playing my guys? Why? Like it was kind of, it was that moment where you were like, oh shit, these two may not like working with each other, but they're gonna figure it out. And I mean, the owner said he goes, I'm gonna find a guy that's right for me, and. I mean, there was a short I put up on the YouTube and it was talking about how he was asking, you know, click, why don't you go after the big free agents? Like, it's my money. And I I get it. You know, he you want to keep the numbers down and and all that stuff. But if you're if your owner is telling you, hey, you can spend fucking money. I mean, I know you and I spent a good amount of time arguing about this last time. And I'm not I get where you're saying. Like, yeah. But. I think the fact that Click got Alvarez for 160, he Beautiful. had a plan in his head to where he's like, I'm going to keep these guys that I have. Like they're talking about, yep. is Tucker getting paid? Is Fromber getting paid? Like that's something Click would have taken care of, in my opinion. And then yeah. we'll figure out what we can spend. Yeah. And and my biggest thing is, and once I took a step back, I was I tried to realize what Astro fans were saying of everything. And there was a lot of Astro fans that were like, oh, Click didn't do shit here. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's the Alvarez deal got done because of him. Rafael Montero is here because of him. Hector Nearest is here because of him. There was stuff he did here. I was like, yes. He built that bullpen. I was like, 
trusting Ryan Presley as the closer, that's Dusty and him. It doesn't, it's not just one. I was like, uh, okay, you went for Wilson Contreras, the thing got done, and you went and got another catcher anyways, which nobody thought. I was like, you took a gamble on Trey Mancini? Cool. I was like, you did your job. I'm not going to sit here and bash you for what you did. It, but it also <laughs> goes back, like people say, it's the things he didn't do yeah. that also got to, like, the, obviously the Correa thing, right? Yeah. But then there was, like, in the middle of this season, around the all-star break i think yuli got hurt or he missed some time for some reason and everybody's like oh we got to trade for a first baseman with a panic and he was like hold on i'm gonna just bring jj madajevic up and he's gonna walk off the yankees you know what i'm saying yeah. so like he knew what we had i thought i felt like he was really really in tune on what we had in the in the farm system and who was ready to come up and what we should spend money on and and that's the thing like I saw who we've lost, I guess, in the front office. I know we lost a scout for the the South uh, American uh, scouting and all that stuff that brought him in. He went to, I believe, San Francisco for a higher job. And But one thing, like uh, you you said it best, we built through our farm system. And we, we got decimated after the cheating scandal and all that. They took draft picks. They took a shit ton of stuff. And now look at our farm system. I, We've talked about it on other shows. We're not that place that you're going to get those Japanese stars that want to come over here and mm-hmm. fucking play. We're not. We we just, you know it already. It's not going to happen. Now, That's kind of my point. It's like, wh- somebody <laughs> tell me who was the last big name player we brought in. Everything's homegrown. Yeah, most of it. I mean, you'll get a, a person here or there, but it it's one of those things where I can say, okay, Dynasty comfortably because... I mean, with the Verlander thing, if I'm not, I'm that person, honestly, if he leaves, I'm not worried. Me Do neither. I want to see you in the Dodgers uniform? No, I don't. And somebody said it best today. I heard it. I'm not worried where you go. I just don't want to hate you for where you go. And it's one of those yes, things yeah. like, I don't want to see you in a Yankees uniform because Garrett Cole did that shit. And I F you, Garrett Cole. I don't mm-hmm. want to see you in a Dodgers unicorn in a uniform because fuck the Dodgers. Mm-hmm. But if you choose anywhere else, you got to go, hey, I want to go Texas Rangers. I'm like, all right, you did a Nolan Ryan. Cool, fuck it, whatever. But it don't fucking mess with me. I don't care. You want to go to the Angels? Supposedly, he went to have a meeting with the Mets. Yeah. And I I read something. Well, I heard something today. They He said, hey, um, the owner supposedly told him, go out, see what you get. Lay it back at me. Maybe I match. Maybe I give you that. He goes, but let me know. And I, I feel like it's a, it's a gamble because you don't have a GM. So you, mm-hmm. he's your GM. I mean, it's his money. I can't really tell him how the fuck to spend it. But also, it's like you're kind of the trusting. Only issue, that's real shit on man shit. But the only issue with that is some team who kind of sucks could literally say, I'm about to spend your money for you. Match exactly. <laughs> and that's my biggest fear. Somebody's like, I know I don't have a chance with him. I'll give you fucking three years for this stupid amount, and he's gonna be like, "Fuck it, I'll match it," because that's what I feel. I am kind of like, if that's true, that's kind of scary to think about because, for one, the Mariners are all in right now. Yeah, and I don't want to fucking see you in a Mariners uniform. And two, that kind of lets you know that Crane might be a little bit crazy. Yeah, Uh, somebody told me. He's going Jerry Jones, and I got sick to my stomach when they said that. And it sucks because it's hard to talk to Astro fan. Now that the hangover is gone, now that it's all done, we can sit and rationalize about what's happening in the organization that we have no fucking general manager. We, there's nobody right. sitting there, hey, you, you know, checking out free agents. I don't know who the fuck's checking free agents out. I don't know who. Yes, he signed. He re-signed the hitting coach, the pitching coach. Alex, uh, Cor- whatever his Cora. name is, yeah, Cora came back. So, okay, you're doing that. That I get it. You know, you have a spotter, you have Baker, cool. But who the hell is talking to free agents? Who the fuck are what is Dusty pulling a Bill O'Brien and fucking hanging out with the, them and fucking doing this shit? Like, and- uh, supposedly, from what I heard, is all this <clears throat> like all discussions are being had with like an advisory board with like Jeff Bagwell, Reggie White, and somebody else. And, but Crane makes the decision. That's scary to me. 
Yeah, I mean, I love you, Bagwell, but I don't know if I want you making these man- manager choices on my shit. Like, if there was an actual GM there, I would love it to have yeah. Bagwell there. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. I don't know, bro. It, there's certain jobs like I know you could do it. Do I want you to do it as the first time? No, I don't want you. To- Honestly, you're just not qualified, Bagwell. Yeah. It's just like. Lovey's a good D coordinator, I guess, but he's a terrible head coach. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's a yeah, perfect explanation right there. I, I just – I'm worried because it's like – I the hangover of, of Astro fan is like, oh, fuck the Mariners. Whatever they do, it doesn't matter. You – fuck that. You got to keep an eye on these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers went for your jugular, and you got them. I admit, you fucking three out, fucking whoop the shit out of them. That pitcher's coming back next year. That fucking, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Julio is coming off of a fucking dominant fucking Dominican Republic game that he just played. He's coming back next year. They're adding. They just traded for another guy. <clears throat> for about ten seconds there, you had me nervous. Like I was like, oh fuck, nigga, he's right, he's right. He's right. I'm, and then something yeah. happened. I remembered something. Who our players are. Yeah. When the end of the day. We're Astros baseball fans, and the players are going to come and do their thing. So the fact that we got a lot of them locked up for at least another year or two, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. No, I, there's for sure I want to um, – I'm not – I wouldn't say worry is my word for me. It's more of no, a – No, Crane cautious. should worry us. Yeah. I'm more of cautious because you can lose a dynasty like that. I mean, ask the fucking Lakers they they've been terrible with bad management for a while and the thing is i mean you no matter how much talent you have if you don't have good leadership <clears throat> brooklyn nets you are going yep. to fucking suck and the now that you you're the team you got that championship that okay what else are you gonna fucking say what else i mean and you see the hate espn literally put a picture today randomly today cheating scandal and it was Correa and out Al- Artube. And everybody's <laughs> like, what's the point of this? Like, and I and I literally wrote, I was like, this has to be somebody that's a Dodgers fan at ESPN that posted this. Like has to be. Because you're fucking salty. But you know My next biggest... year you're playing everybody. Some everybody's gonna give you their best fucking game. Oh okay you're the Astros everybody. And I'm cool with it. But it's like I need to know. I mean, I'm sure they know. They have the doctors. You have the one of the best hospitals in the fucking world here. You, what's going on with with Yuli? He looks fine. He was out actually on vacation today, so that question kind of got answered for me a bit. What's going on with Maldonado, Maldonado's health? You know, what's our pitching rotation going to look like? I mean, shit Lance like that excites me though because it's like if Verlander leaves, you know what our constellation price is? What? Hunter Brown. I was thinking that, yeah. So it's like, okay, like, <laughs> of course you can't replace Verlander, but yeah, Hunter Brown could probably win you 11 games. I mean, I thank you, Verlander. You won Cy Young. You struggled. I want you back, ass- though. Well, yeah, you but struggled you your ass off, though, when it mattered in those games. It, those were some, some scary games that we had. You pushed through on the last one. Now, if I you asked me if we had to do five more, if I wanted you back out there, probably not. I'm I'm going Framber. I'm going Framber is a fucking dog. The dude yep. showed up both all fucking games. I think Christian Javier is our best pitcher, though. No, and yeah, I give that. I I think those two as a two headed monster are your fucking future right there. With Hunter Who's Brown. The f- yeah, and then you add in a Hunter Brown. I mean, if Luis Garcia finally gets some shit, you have Arquiti still. I mean, Lance, I guess you can be a part of the Avengers also. I don't really care. You can be like <laughs> fucking Hawkeye or some shit. I was like, you're just there. I don't really fucking know. But <clears throat> at this point, it's like Verlander, I'm not saying he's just a name, but for what the team has, I don't need you there. I want mm-hmm. you there if you want to be there for the right price. But it's like Kevin Durant with the Golden State. I don't need you. I want you here. But if you want to, hey, go go to New York and go be with Scherzer and DeGrom and, and maybe they have a three-headed mind. Cool, fuck it. Hey, maybe we meet up. And DeGrom's fuck. a free agent, too. Yeah. And so that's why I was I, like. I heard a lot of people say if Verlander leaves, do you offer DeGrom a couple years of big money? I don't know if I could do that. Oh, man. I feel like 
there's money that can be put elsewhere and your pitching's are injury already... prone, bro. Yeah, and that's like I mean what he did in Scherzer did well what they did not do in the playoffs. I really don't want them. I right. I like that's why I said like when you were saying it like 2 weeks ago, I do feel we have to be very particular on who we bring in. What is it that you like you you said it best? What is it that you bring me multiple wise out there? Like you know, th- is Brantley coming back healthy? Am I going to look they am I looking at yeah. a left fielder? What am I doing? Can, is it a left fielder? Like I love Dubon. Like I mean, does he? Can he get better? Of course he can get better. But dude's young. I don't still. feel a need for Dubon <clears throat> and Aletmus though. Yeah, I feel keep Dubon Aletmus. Thank you. Take your ring, bro. Enjoy it. And all right, we go with the younger guy, cheaper guy. Move on. Get something else that we need. I mean, if you want to finally get a left hand pitcher, cool. Go get a fucking left hand pitcher for. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe that's our luck. We don't need one. I don't fucking know. At this fucking moment, I mean, Will Smith's contracts off your books. You have money to play with. You can go fucking. and look at shit. Go look at go fucking window shop for a bit and go see what the fuck's out there. But <clears throat> I mean, who was it? The Yankees player that that went back was it Adam Benatendi or whatever? I think. Oh yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, I didn't want him, bro. I wanted him at the trade <laughs> deadline, but I don't want him anymore. Like yeah. He- it was a. Uh, it's funny because Twitter right now is a shit show, so anybody can post anything and it looks fucking authentic. And so they posted a quote that he had said, talking about, "Oh, I wasn't gonna go to the Astros, this and that." I don't think it was real because it came from the New York. Uh, it wasn't New York Post. It was like New York Roast or some shit, <laughs> and it looked just the exact same. But it wasn't a verified account by the news. It was just the bot verified account. And people ran with it. People were like, oh, fuck this dude. So I was like, all right, cool, fuck it. Like, I mean, he's a Yankee. He's, fuck him. But I know a lot of people are like, I don't want Cody Bellinger because he talked a lot of shit about us. So fuck you. Like, go mm-hmm. somewhere else, dude. Like, Yeah, and- but, I mean, if you're going to spend money and you have a player like Brandon Nemo out there who's available and you insist on getting an outfielder, then that's who a player like that I'd rather have. To yeah. be honest, not Ben Intendi who's hurt, who's been kind of hurt. But even in his, even in his best seasons, he's just kind of like, kind of good you know yeah and man i honestly feel like kyle tucker is your main cream of your crop you're looking at right now like you have a star in the making dudes on the fucking usa team like you have a guy right here that if if pena wasn't balling out the way he was that was your next guy outside of like he showed up that one fucking game he had five fucking rbis like I almost want to say, like, it's his team. Like, I know Pena did what Pena did, but I have yeah. a feeling, like, he can't live up to that hype. No. it It's a bubble of – I hate it for him because people are going to hate him when he doesn't do that the whole year. Yeah. And it's like, I don't need you to do that the whole year. You already outplayed fucking what I wanted Correa to do. I wanted Correa to yeah. show up when it counted. If you can mm-hmm. give me that – when it counts, cool. Fuck it. I'm cool with it. Give me the defense. Give me a few bats here and there. Give me all that. I don't. I don't need now. I think what I well the way I feel about that is that I don't want one super like I don't want to be relying on anybody because our lineup is so good. <clears throat> if we just play Astros baseball, we'll beat anybody. Yeah. Not be the Yankees and hope that Aaron Judge hits two home runs today. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it's a long shot, but if they were to go and sign Aaron Judge today, would you be mad? But at the expense of what? I don't fucking like, know. No, what I'm saying is, it's your like whole, your whole team, man, because that no, 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 because like money's not an issue, Crane. Remember? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you could easily say what I was going to spend on Verlander. I'll get him. So, I mean, if he's willing to spend, in theory, you could get Aaron Judge. But let's just think about this: Aaron Judge is a right fielder. Uh, I'm not moving Tucker. Yeah, and that's where I'm at. Like, I get. So, a, do you tell me that Aaron Judge could go play left field in Minute Maid, and then Alvarez is a DH all the time? That's an expensive DH, yeah. But I also know that Aaron Judge has played a little bit in center field. But is he good enough to play center field at the juice box? It's one of those things where it's like. Imagine a fucking outfield with Judge, Alvarez, and Tucker. That's fucking nasty. It's fucking murderers <laughs> row right there. It is <laughs> That's shitty. disgusting. 
<laughs> that's disgusting. I mean, and it's if Jim that's Crane's like the equivalent. That is the exact equivalent of Kevin Durant going to a seventy-three and nine team. The yeah. best player not on the best team came to the best team. That's what the fuck that would be. Yeah. It. I mean, you can't get Otani. Go get fucking Judge. Fuck it. Like, I mean, as much as even Otani, like, I don't give a fuck what the Angels say. Oh, we're not trading. Fuck. Yeah, right. Y'all suck. Y'all better do something. If fucking the Astros would be like, I'm giving you fucking two of our, Garcia and Arkiti and fucking somebody else, you're going li- to you're gonna think about it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who I'd want to give up for an Otani, but I mean, dude can pitch and fucking hit. That would be nasty. Do I Could think- you imagine him being the designated hitter on the days he don't pitch and Jordan and left? Oh, that's nasty as hell. <laughs> yeah. Like, I get it, our pitching one, but that's fucking nasty on offense. Like, that's tough to strike the fuck out. Like, all I need you, Artuve, and fucking Bregman is make contact with the ball, and we're gravy. Like, <clears throat> Bregman, Pena. Like, they're from, it's, from now it's, on, Jeremy Pena will forever be the Astros' number two hitter as long as he plays for us. It's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. Do you, do you feel we need somebody that – I mean, do you – okay, I guess what position do we need to focus on right now? Because I feel like the Verlander thing, it, it's fine. You have to – it's just like I operate under the assumption that Maldonado is coming back. Like I just don't see a yeah. reason why he would leave. I don't give a fuck what his wife said. I don't give a fuck what he – like I just don't – there's no way that Maldonado being what he means to the team, what he knows about the rotation – and what he does as a leader is just going to vanish that quickly. It's going to be – he's going to go out the way he wants to. So I yeah. have, I'm thinking he's coming back, which yeah. makes me think you look at first base. Okay. Which brings me to my next point. Crane acted too – like by sh- shitting on Click, it cost you in that instance. And what I mean by that is Click used to manage Tampa. Yeah. Tampa's cleaning house. They literally <laughs> traded G Man Choi, who is an amazing fucking first baseman, to mm-hmm. Pittsburgh for nothing. And he's under contract for $5 million. We would have got the perfect replacement for Yuli for nothing. But we decided to get rid of Crane the day before they did that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I posted it on the Facebook and people were like who cares about this dude and i was like yeah have y'all not seen the way the dude plays defense like the dude stretches out and splits for fucking balls all the time he can hit a ball when he needs to here and there i go in in our in (laughs) our building he would pop balls up to right field and he would clear that little ass wall so he would do just fine you could bring yuli back on cheap ass money as a backup first baseman and designated hitter Perfect. And the band is back together with a fucking amazing first baseman that we would have got for nothing. Yep. But you were arguing with the GM. Th- and the thing is, I wouldn't have minded the day after. You're like, <laughs> I have your replacement and this is it. Like, you should have had a replacement already there because you're missing out on phone calls. You're missing out on trade calls and this and that. And I get it. Okay, we're the Ashes, we're the World Series champ. But if you could have got Chew for fucking nothing... Mm-hmm. that's a perfect thing now you go focus on tucker's money you go through those are those little things that i feel like i would say golden state does in basketball where it's exactly okay, what fuck it. yeah we we got oh jordan Poole's coming up we got this guy come wise we got this we got all these young dudes and people are like oh why do they draft this guy those are those sean livingston <clears throat> leandro barbosa signings that they yeah. do you know what i mean and and i think that's one thing like i want to see what the offseason looks like once we hopefully get it i mean he literally said we may not have a gm until the season starts you know a lot of our teams yeah. coming back as is anyway so yeah i feel pretty good about it you know yeah i, I think I just, he overpaid montero a little bit you know but whatever yeah that's what i i i got shitted on for saying that it could have been lower but people are like, i mean you're a top is? five paid relief pitcher in the league and you're probably the fourth best relief pitcher on your team so yeah i mean overpaid uh, i it, but it was the hangover the i i said it my i told my dad i was like, the astros can do no wrong right this whole week 
I go, they could literally say they were getting rid of Arthur and there will probably be fans like, oh, fucking agree with that shit right now. Like, hell yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> they could do no wrong. I was like, and it was a weird week because I now it's calmed down a bit, but Big there time. were so many fans that were like shitting on like I get shitting on the Texans to a point. Okay, they they, they were they've had bad management, Bill O'Brien shit, whatever. So people were shitting on them. They're like, oh, this is the worst fucking team I've ever seen. But I knew there was a lot of fans that were Astro fans that were not there when we were the fucking Astros. Because if you fucking struggled, shit. if you struggled with us at that time, this shit don't bother you. Because if that you was, don't know who Brett Wallace is, then don't talk to me. That was bottom of the barrel. Like the Texans, they suck, but they're not getting on fucking ESPN getting made fun of suck. Like the Lastros, <laughs> they fucking made a name for us. And had content made for us to make fun of us like they had bloopers of us missing plays and doing shit like it was fucking terrible the rockets yeah we're bad but we're young and people were shitting on them like oh this fucking rockets team is ass i'm like do you even watch the fucking game no they fucking suck dude they don't even they can't even fucking play a game i was like they almost beat golden state the other day we can switch over to that topic right now and i can tell you what that we lost that game by like three that is some of the best basketball it was fucking weird bro because clay came out on fire right we go down by 20. then we played some of the best defense we played all year and caught them and go up by 10. so the second quarter started and golden state did something i never thought i'd see them do not against us they couldn't figure out how to stop us so they played zone I was like, the defending champs are running zone defense against these knuckleheads because they can't figure it. That's like, that's an indicator we're doing some shit right. Because Jabari yeah. was going the fuck off, son. And and that's the thing I think Rockets fans, they're fucking young. These dudes are young. First of all, I want to get this out of the way. Can we get Knicks off the fucking team? I don't sweat that because Ty Ty came back from injury. They sent him to the G League. Yeah. So they're not going to run him that quick. And you know, like, how long a basketball season is. By the time, yeah. like, January comes, we'll forget about him. Ty Ty will be playing. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, I do Ty- foresee a trade coming, though, real soon. Oh, what is it? I don't know. But I just have a, like, you look at the Rockets players, and it's like, not to disrespect them, but it's like, Eric Gordon, you're in the way, bro. I feel like he's uh, Brandon Cooks. Out Garrison there right Matthews, now. you're in the way. Like, there's value yeah. to trading you because yeah, people I, need shooters right now. And uh, that, I had read a, a, a something that said, "Would you trade Eric Gordon and Garrison Matthews for Pat Bev?" Yeah, I think I would do. I like Pat Bev. I like his dog attitude. I think he can. He's the guy. He. I feel he's that perfect guy on the team for when you're youngsters. If somebody tries to fuck with Green, hey, Bev got it. If somebody... My boy Mark said that today too, and at first I didn't like agree. With, I agreed with it, but I didn't think that it mattered that much. And then I was like, okay, no, he's right because he'll protect Jalen. The yeah. only person that worries me is I don't know if I want Kevin Porter around. Pat <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that right now. I was like, that's a, those two are gonna be wild in that damn fucking. And yeah, I, I, mean... I think <laughs> that Eric Gordon needs to be traded so that Kenyon Martin Jr. could start at the small forward. That dude is balling the fuck out. And we were talking about maybe they should trade him, but the, he came out this season on fire dunking. On, this dude is a highlight waiting to happen. Between the dunks between him and Jalen, you can literally make highlights every game with them too. Between like, the rebounds underneath the rim <laughs> but from Garuba and Tari Eason that they can't get put back up because they get blocked. I yes. fucking love that too. <laughs> and I, have not, I cannot remember two players who worked as hard as those two for the Rockets in a long time. I really and can't. You see, like, the core of Kevin I guess Porter. PJ. They got a lot of P.J. Tucker in them. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, P.J., yeah. Like, when he – that one year when he was just out there dogging it out with people, like, the, the P.J. That, that's over there in 76 <laughs> is not that one. That I'm about one. to bust your bubble a little bit. So, I've been watching a lot of Rockets the other day, right, mm-hmm. uh, this week. And you know how we always try to – we talk, we both like Tari Eason, right? Yeah. So he was playing the other day, and he, he ran down the court two times on a, a defensive uh, steal to a layup. And I was like, oh, fuck, Nick's going to hate this. When when I seen this, do you know who he reminds me of? Ex-Rocket, goofy than a motherfucker. But for some reason, he always played good against us. 
Tell me Tari Eason don't have some Corey Brewer in him. <laughs> he, there was a game I was watching. I was like, you look like Corey Brewer out there. When he was smiling, he was like, he was doing this Wait, shit. He's just kind of goofy and yeah. shit, but he gets shit done. I was like, that's Corey Brewer right there. He missed it. He got an air. He went for the M one. He missed it. He was like, please, please. Who's my Garuba showed up in shape? He's balling, son. That I dude. I love there. him on our team. After he shit his pants, that boy been fucking a monster out there. I was like, where the fuck? And they even said, they go, this dude last year wasn't even playing on the team. And nope. they have the court- I mean, Kevin Porter Jr., he's playing. He's owning up to that contract. Jalen Green looks like he's building that. If you tell me right now from last year who's showing up as a star out of Kenyon Jay- Martin Jr. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, Kenyon Martin for sure. Like, he's a... Your dad was right, bro. You need a, more playing time because you're fucking balling out of fucking control. Like, but I was like, out of the big three from last year's draft, I mean, Jalen Green looks like he's taking that next step easily and was like, yo, I'm fucking about my shit. I'm going to get my shit. Like, and you could still see he's trying to figure out like where do I get my guys involved, but I'm still gonna take over. I don't but, want him to. Yeah. <laughs> he hurts the team trying to be a point guard. Like your his mentality should be old school Tracy McGrady, Kobe Bryant score first. And if yeah. not, then I'll pass out of it because that's when he helps us for real. I mean, and that's how I feel like John Moran is at times. Like, I'm going to attack you. I'm going to get my shit. And if I can't, then, I, then I'm then i going to look for it. But yeah, and I, I feel that's when he plays like that, I feel with Kevin Porter and Kim Martin, I feel that's when they do even better when he's just dominating. Because, oh, I'm going to take di- Our offense is ran like <clears throat> Denver. Our Center is our point guard at the top of the key. You know what I'm saying? Like when we run set offense, that's how we do it. Like Denver. Other than that, everybody just go hoop. Yeah. But I don't like the fucking dribbling. Like sometimes I feel like uh, Jalen and Kevin Porter, they shoot too many threes. And I'm like, if you really count the many times they did that dribble into a shot, a three contested three is like, that's what Harden did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like when I watched them do that, there was a, I think it was the last game. I saw Jalen come down. The momentum just slowed down. He did the lolly gag dribbling. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is James Harden. Right <laughs> I'd here. actually like to see Jalen go back to shooting that mid range. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it, he would go in, do a little step back, get his opening, and knock it down. It was beautiful when he was doing it, but he fell in love with that three point again. And it's, it's that. It's <clears throat> our, our issue. For any Rockets fan that really gives a fuck about him, like when our defense gets better, we'll get better. Yeah. Uh, look at the like they show the pre every game before it starts, they show the team comparisons. And you go back and look, Indy, we average more points than them, we shoot better than them. Dallas, we're on par with what Dallas does. You know what yep. I mean? Offensively. The only problem is, is we give up like four more points a game. So we clean our defense up, we'll, we'll win more games. Oh, Unless yeah. I really it? want Victor Wimbanyama that much. Uh, I think they are going to – I think they want him for sure. Um, I mean, at this point, I, I mean, with basketball, it's not a for sure you're getting first. But, I mean, if you're going to – I don't think they're tanking as much because you see how hard – if you watch the game – Yeah, yeah, you they're not tanking. They're for sure not and tanking. And that's one thing, like, I think that irritates me is, like, you get fans that are like, oh, we're just fucking tanking. This is shit. I was like, dude, are you watching the games because these dudes – they had 19 fucking blocks on fucking Dallas. Oh, but they're fucking taking. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like when Ken King and Martin Jr. went up and uh hung up there and waited for Christian Woods slow ass to come up with the ball and, and he fucking packed it. That was the most beautiful shit in the world. That man, this team, they have their you can see like Shangoon, you see all the the way that they're playing as a unit. They just need a piece they need. I don't know what they they need to growth for sure. I mean, they need. They, some- I'm gonna tell you what they need. <clears throat> in my opinion, they need another coach. But I'm gonna let Silas finish his season. And I, it's not that I don't think Silas is good at developing people. I think he's just good at. He just has a real good basketball mind. Yeah, my opinion. But I know. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say he's bad. He's a bad coach. I, I feel he's bad for where we're at. Yeah. Like what we need is a guy that like, I mean, we've said it before. Sam Cassell would be perfect. Uh, right. An older mindset, a person that can relate still to the players, 
But when it comes down to what you need to do to take from, okay, we're a good basketball team to transition into championship level. I mean, literally the Golden State game, perfect mindset of Draymond Green, championship style mindset. Tari Easton got the layup, hit the ball out, and he let the ball go. Oh, yeah. Oh, delay a game. Oh, we get a free free throw. It's the little things that happen in basketball where you're just like, oh, shit. I just, like, I don't think hmm. Silas is bad. I just want a coach to come in there and do something with a purpose. Like, yeah. don't just tell me we're kind of read and react basketball and blah, blah, blah. We do really well. You know, we have decent numbers in isolation basketball. It's like, no, I don't want to hear that. And what I'm like, just think about Sacramento. Like, they suck forever. They bring in what's his name, Mike, what's his name, who used to coach Cleveland, and he was an assistant in Golden State for a long time until this year. He goes to Sacramento. They do some shit with intent, and now they're winning because they're on fire right now. Look at fucking Utah. Worse. Nobody fucking thought Utah was going to be anything. Oh, you traded your two best guys. Y'all are going to suck. Boston, they switched coaches right when the season started, and they got the most wins in the league, I think. Mm-hmm. And they're playing hard. They they go at it with you, and I'm like, oh, they look. They haven't missed after the fucking loss. Like, so maybe Steve, <clears throat> Steven Silas is just too damn nice. Like, we need a dickhead on our team. Probably. I mean, you got I a lot of young weird. guys. It it reminds me of, and I mean, like JB Bickerstaff is not a bad coach. Look at what he's doing in Cleveland. But I felt like when he was the coach with the Rockets, and they were he was out there fucking clubbing with them and shit. And it's like. Cool, yeah. bro. I, I don't mind like, hey, yeah. But there's a moment of time where I need you to be like, hey, yo, you got to wake, step the fuck up now. Like, yeah, I definitely want to make sure that the players, res- the sh- players got to respect you. Like they yeah. know who's in charge, you know? Yeah. And, it, and it's weird because sometimes you'll see, um, ah, uh, what's the dude, uh, John Lucas sometimes like, and he looks like he's the head of it, the old head and all that stuff. So that's why I feel like if you had another guy that relays back two minds relaying back off of each other, it would be a little better. But then it's like, uh, I, I just feel sure. like I want somebody that the <clears throat> players can relate to. Like Steve a player. Nash. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I might entertain that idea. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who we would get. Cassell maybe, but then you look at a player like Jason Kidd. He kind of wasn't good the first couple times at coaching. Chauncey Phillips, I mean, not that. I mean, he's doing good now, but yeah, I mean, both of them are doing okay this year for what they're. I guess they had or what they were doing. Um, the hand they were dealt. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it's one of those things where I, I do feel like. If I'm not on Sil- the Silas train, like, oh, he's on the hot seat right now. Like, for what, dude? Like, the worst happens, you get, what, two fucking top ten picks? Because is that what the fuck? Like, oh, that's Man, it. Oh. I don't give a fuck about who coaches this team. I don't give a fuck about who plays for these teams. I'm sick of looking at those ugly fucking jerseys, those white and green. That shit is fucking ugly, bro. <laughs> I was so fu- – the game they chose to play it was against the fucking Pacers. And I was so fucking confused on who was fucking who. I was like, who the fuck is that? And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, oh, wait, that's the Pacers. I was like, oh, shit, where the fuck? I was like, and I'm like, man, what the fuck? I was like, and then they played in the same jerseys against Golden State. And I'm like, the only reason why I know who's on the, the who's Golden State is because Steph Curry's a light brother. That's the yep. only fucking reason why I do it. Everybody that's else out there, I was fucking like, ugly, bro. I was just like, geez. And I, I liked them to a point where I was like, cool, you're playing homage. You One fucking time for Elvin Hayes. Cool, fuck it. I don't want to see these all the fucking time. It was, It's like the Space City jerseys. I love them. Y'all sucking them. I didn't want to see them any fucking more. It, it, I think we got to wear those two more times. Jeez. Hopefully yeah, it's against like fucking oh, the Bulls or some shit so I can fucking tell who the... <laughs> somebody with a different color scheme because my head was hurt and i was like and then they changed the logo to the old yeah, logo was i was like it said san diego houston rockets i was like what the fuck is this stupid shit i was like us. why like you don't have to do that just the wear the logo and that's like what the fuck like the astros didn't change their logo when they wore the space city it was Man, still i the wish same the rockets thing. would get a different jersey though i don't know <clears throat> i feel I like like ours 
I feel you can upgrade it for sure. Like change it. Like, I mean, don't do like the Minnesota Twins where they just change the red to a fucking lighter red. Like, that, and but I actually like the red. Like our red jersey, I actually like yeah. that color. But maybe put something else across the chest, <clears throat> or like like I like the black song. jersey. I like the black jersey. If I think if you added a little more like to it, like my favorites are for sure the ketchup and uh, mustard ones. Oh, for like sure. Like those, that color scheme is just, I don't give a fuck what it is. I'll, I'll rock some shit of that. I still got those ugly Dwight Howard shoes up in my closet just because of the fucking color scheme of it <laughs> and all that stuff. But it's like, it's just classic. You can't go wrong with that color. It's like the Astros went back to the orange and blue and white. It, 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 it works. Like the Texans need to fucking stick with that damn red helmet. Like, yes, but not on a red jersey. Cause that yeah, no, that, red, that shit was nasty. Like, so I feel your Rockets, you're in that spot. Jalen Green. If you get Victor Wambayama, fuck, you go get a fight. I think that would be so confusing for us. Like, it what? would. Yeah. Like, it what really do you would. do with St. Goon? Yeah. And, it, it's it's one of those things where it's like if we don't get him i'm not mad at this point right. we've had i mean we got jabari for fucking steal okay paulo Bronchero's balling out but you look at the stats for rookies jabari's leading in rebounds he's leading uh, i think he's almost in blocks i believe tari's in tari's in steals i believe and jabari's uh, or something like that there's something like that of right now is what's going on so you got Jalen. I think over it was there. John Granado on ESPN Radio <clears throat> said he had the best uh, saying about Paolo and Jabari to Rockets fans. That fool said Jab- uh, Paolo was the most league ready, and Jabari <clears throat> had the closest, the highest ceiling, but Paolo's probably closer to his ceiling already. So I was like, okay, I, I, I could. That makes me feel better. I mean, people have been shitting on Jabari, and it's like you he's not an offensive juggernaut scorer. He's not Jalen Green out there. He's not going to go out there and every week drop 30 fucking points on you. I don't need that. But Two, he's only played like he's only been in like 20 pro games. Cut him a yeah. break. I mean, the game that everybody talks shit about, I'm like, dude had the fucking flu. Like, not everybody's Michael Jordan out there, right? Three, okay. one of his biggest fundamental problems. Is that fool's footwork is fucking terrible. Luckily for him, he plays on a team that has a guy that helps them out that might be have the best footwork ever. So I think we can get that shit cleaned up. Yeah. Go spend some time with uh, the Dream and uh, Shingun practice. Cause it, she, I don't know what the fuck Shingun did. He took a fucking some water from Akeem and Skola's fucking water bottle. <laughs> Cause this motherfucker here be fucking just dream shaking vanilla ice cream fucking cone throws up in the air, and he's making this shit. He's making he made Zubak and them look ridiculous going on fakes and everything. It's not a Kim Olajuwon esque, but I mean, hey, it's it's probably it, the closest. It's, got, it's it's like weird to me because if you watch him play, he's got like a to me a mixture of Luis Scola and Enos Cantor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ugliest smooth shit I ever seen. Oh man, it, yeah. There's some times where I'm like, oh, what the fuck was that? But then he does like a move. I'm like, oh, that was beautiful. Holy fuck! Yeah. Like, it's like it was I, ugly I all the way up into the step through, and it was fucking yeah. beautiful. <laughs> I was like, I forget though how young they are too, because I'm like, oh, dude, yeah, they, damn, they're. they're I, I, like, I fucking oh, like, love it though, bro, because, uh, Jalen. Kenyon, Jabari, and Singoon in the Indiana game all went up and contested a block at the rim. So it's like we have people who are going up with people. And yeah. that's fucking dope to me. And you could see Jalen, like last year he didn't he kind of looked like the James Harden shot, like oh, I'm not gonna do defense. This year he bulked up a bit. He is going out there. I'll, I'll take the defender. And you see him get beat a few times. I mean, it it happens on I don't care who you are. I've seen Steph Curry get beat. I've seen fucking Devin Booker and Trey Young get beat all the damn time. And it's going to happen. But you just said his name, bro. I look at Jalen Green and I very much so see a Devin Booker player there. Like, probably not as good a shooter, but it's going to finish at the rim way better. Like, I see that kind of dude, you know? Yeah. 
Like he has star quality when you, I mean, dude, when he goes up, bro, like I, I do a lot of shorts on like jaw and him and I'll look at him and I'm not saying he's on jaws level. Cause right now I feel jaw before he got hurt was balling out of control, but I feel like some of the stuff he does, like the finishing at the rim is what he's been doing this year. There's plays where Jalen's getting hacked. You see the fucking close up hack on the arm and he still gets it up, throws it up off the backboard. And it's just like, this there was is one shit. play where he went up, thought he was going to get blocked, and brought the ball all the way back down and spun that hole off the backboard. It didn't make it, but I was like, you know how fucking long you got to be in the air to do that? This hang time's ridiculous. And I love it, too, because he's not like Steve Francis where I'm trying to throw the br- fucking rim down to the floor type shit. It's okay, I'm going to elegant it up here. And, and then, I mean, Kevin Porter's showing up, too. He's doing a lot of, of things where I was like, oh, shit, okay, you took a step. You see the team moving. That's what I wanted to see this year. You see them not here, where they were last year. They've moved a bit here. I don't think you're in playing tournament wise, but I do feel you out of if you if you clean some shit up, bro. Maybe. I mean, you could honestly. I mean, the fucking what does the West even look like? Well, probably not because we lost a shit ton of games in a row. Nah, we probably couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Utah is doing better than we thought, so. Let's see. Just go. Ahead. You're better. You're more likely to get Victor Wampanyama than to make the play. I mean, you're down only. What is it? Top ten make it or twelve? Yeah, the first ten. All right, so ten is Timberwolves at nine and eight. You're six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're dead last. You're three and fourteen. But I mean, at least the losses haven't been like ugly losses, like. All have we got blown out? I think there's like one game. Like we've just I think played. You're right. There was a game where Calvin Murphy was like pissed off, and he goes, "I told them that if they played like this, they were gonna lose." And it was like, but it was during that stretch where we were like over here in Houston, then we f- to play fucking Milwaukee, then we flew to Milwaukee. Did we get fucked up by Toronto? I think. I think it was, was it? yeah. Yeah, I think it was Toronto. It was one of those Eastern Conference teams. They fucked us up, and I was like, I I literally couldn't watch the game. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I agree. This is just like fucking terrible. Like, uh, see, I think it was Siakam. He was fucking hitting shit oh. on us, man. Bleat was hitting shit. <laughs> I mean, but you look at the team, they have three wins. Yeah. Detroit, you have three wins. Mm-hmm. Those are two teams that have built in the draft two years in a row already. You got into top players. You mm-hmm. are on the rise going up. You could be the fucking Hornets at four and 14. With mm-hmm. one guy and a bunch of dudes, I don't know who the hell you are, and you don't know what the fuck direction you're going because your star is already established, and it, it's just, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you could be fucking, I mean, the fucking Heat are 7 and 11. Like, hey, answer me this. <clears throat> Say the Rockets get the first overall pick, right? And then Charlotte's like, I want Victor Wambanyama. I'll give you LaMelo Ball and whatever our pick is for that number one. Would you take it? Yeah. I think I would take that too. So you would a get a mellow and probably like a top five to <clears> ten <throat> pick. There, the, the beautiful thing is the only reason why I want the pick is like you said, I can trade it. Everybody yep. in the team are gonna. Everybody's team outside of whoever probably wins a championship, Golden State and whoever, are gonna be like, I want that fucking pick. What do you want for it? And if I feel like, hey. I can get Victor Wamiyama. He's maybe going to be the greatest star ever, but what if he's another Shet Holmgren and can't stay yeah. healthy? What if he's a Ralph Sampson and gets hurt right at the fucking – like, I mean, it, it. he's a big man, and NBA is not the same. And I'm sorry, France. It's not the same over there. You, you're not going to be fucking doing these spin moves, bodying motherfuckers. Dunk. Motherfucker, it would be a completely gonna... different story if the big men that we didn't draft over the past two years weren't balling the fuck out. Yeah. Like I, if I think... fucking Sagoon was sucking or whatever, he'd be like, nah, fuck that. We need Victor. But he's not. Yeah. Garuba's open. Tate Tari Eason open. I mean, fucking uh Smith has played fucking center a few times this year and he's blocking shots and like I feel like with what you got, I mean, you always they always say go for the talent, of course, and we'll figure it the fuck out. So I mean, I have a feeling if they had a chance to get him, they're probably drafting him. But I mean, the rich get richer, fuck it. But I do feel like if 
because I feel like they're at the point where they're not looking for draft picks more now. They're looking for mm-hmm. like, what are we going to build a team around of a, cause I mean, if you have, if you have fucking Victor Wambayama, Jalen green and throw in a third fucking person in there, that's a nasty. I mean, Jabari, that's fucking nasty on fucking team in like a, a year or two when they figure it the fuck out. Yeah. I mean, Victor, or if you time. don't get Victor, that's when I'm like, okay, well, we know we're building around Jalen Singun Jabari. What do we do now? Okay. That's when I'm starting to use my picks and my money. And I want to do like New Orleans did and bring in a CJ McCullough. Yeah. Bring in you a, a I mean? nice bet that uh, adds, I think it adds a mindset in that locker room. That's why I said the Pat Beverly thing. I like it because. It brings a veteran mindset, but it, you give me something that I don't have. You give me defense a, a little bit more on the point guard side, or I don't. I, you can make an open three if I need you, but I know Jalen and them are gonna run this fucking ball out. I don't need you to do that shit. So where you're struggling at in fucking the Lakers because they need shooting. Hey, I'll give you fucking Eric Gordon. We don't need this. We we have extra shit. Like you can have another Man, white this dude. Is, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but if you get to that point where, like, say you don't get Victor. And then you say, okay, I know who my three people I'm building around is. I'm going to get this player as long as I don't have to give up too much. The first player I would go after would be Paul George. Ooh. That's a huge one. Yeah. Like, what would I give up? (sighs) They'd probably want somebody like Tari Eason, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the good thing if you get the first pick, it the trades are going to flow out at you of who wants to start over, who wants mm-hmm. to fucking. There's absolutely to... no scenario in the world where I make that trade though without getting a first round pick back. Like I still want to pick in this draft. Yeah, in the first round. Yeah, I, I'm only trading with the top. I'd say five, maybe. Depends on what you <laughs> the draft looks yeah. like at the time, though. Because if you if they, if you can get a if you're not gonna get Scoot, but there might be a bunch of points or something, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't do like Scoot, the Texans and not. keep trading your first round pick. Yeah. <laughs> like if we get Scoot, I'll be happy too. I mean, I think that's the fun thing is, like you always say, just enjoy the game. Don't sit there and get mad. Like people get mad about the game. I'm like, why are you? Like if you go into these Rockets games right now thinking, hey, we're gonna fucking win this shit. You're fucking hurting yourself because, I mean, it don't look like we are going to win multi- a lot of games anyway. But I admire what they're doing, and I think Mario Eli and Calvin Murphy have said that. Like, you see their – you watch the game, you see their hustle, you see their enthusiasm, you see they're trying to do it. But there's something and sometimes where they just, like, the Golden State game, they were winning, and then I, I believe in, like, the late third when Clay started heating up, they didn't know what to do. They were making dumb plays. They were – Messing up, making little mistakes, and it's just like, ah, oh, fuck. It's the age shit. Man, that was a three-point game with less than 30 seconds to go until Clay, <laughs> I mean, Curry threw that ugly shit up in the air and it went in. Yep. That was the coolest shot ever. But it's like, that's the defending chance, bro. You just took, the, you just hooped with them for 47 and a half minutes. Yep. Like, I'm, I'm, co- I'm good with it. Obviously, I wanted to win, but it didn't happen. We're good, though. Yeah, and, and that's where I feel like fans, chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. We can get into a team that, that you know, I get why you're mad the fuck at them. And I guess we'll move on to the Texans because oh. they're, uh, they've are they been in the news. I know Lovey Smith made some comments about quarterback. And it was – he got a lot of controversy for it because it wasn't a – a lot of people said, okay, it sounds like he wants to switch for Mills because our offense was – Casario don't want it. Yeah. Our offense was terrible last week. I mean, that was – if I wasn't watching that Jets – Patriots game, it probably would have been the worst offense I've seen. The but, thing about this past <laughs> game being so bad is like it our offensive line was so bad, you don't know who else to play Perry's to blame on. Yeah. So many you fucking I mean? penalties. You can't get nothing done when the O line's not doing anything, not blocking. I mean, we had twenty seven rushing yards. What the fuck? Mills ain't that good anyway. I mean, he is, but I mean he has a hard time anyway, and y'all can't block for him. Yeah, I think I six and, sacks. And that was one thing I did bring up to people. They were like, man, fucking Davis Mills sucks. He can't even get the ball off. I'm like, dude, if there's defenders running at you all the time, or I make a great play and then, oh, uh, false star, whatever. How the fuck do you want me to build Kenyon momentum? Green was straight trash, bro. Kenyon yeah. Green is fucking trash right now. He I might like, bench him for a game. 
He had like what three fucking like penalties he, back I, to back to back or some shit. He gave up two sacks. <laughs> Deron Payne picked Kenya Green up and threw him at Damian Pierce. He picked you up and threw you. <laughs> you they can't happen. Yeah, you're I, not a child. <laughs> I feel like at this point, I don't. I for me, I don't care if Davis Mills starts goes. I really don't care. Brandon Cooks, I don't even need you. You just sit on the fucking bench, bro. Like there's certain. But he players... actually balled the fuck out. No. I can honestly yeah. say he gave 100 percent effort in the game the other day. Yeah. yeah, I I tried to forget the whole game because it was so ugly. But it, it my due diligence of watching it, I was like, I can't, I can't get mad at just Mills. Like, and they even said it on the fucking TV. The announcer said it. He goes, Well, you know, a lot of people want Davis Mills out. He goes. It's not just him. He goes, some of the stuff they're making mistakes on is coaching. You have to yeah. tell, make decisions. If this dude's making penalties, take him the fuck out. Take him out of the but, damn game. Like, Davis Mills threw a pick six on the second play of the game. Yeah, that shit was ugly as fuck. Don't – he should have took the he should have took the blame for that. He should have said, I fucked up. Yeah. Because now you yeah. didn't say that, and that pissed me off. And it's like, you know who used to do that? Matt Schaub. Mm-hmm. Matt Schaub used to do shit like that. Mm-hmm. So – now he's pissing yeah. me off. And it's like for me, I don't that's one thing I want to I don't want it. Like I'm not saying, oh fuck you. We're we gotta keep Davis Mill. No, I'm not no, fuck that. If he gets off tomorrow, I don't really care. You can fucking play whoever you want at this point. I want at least in that sport, I know we get last fucking plays where first pick. So cool. Go for first pick, get you a fucking quarterback you want at this point. And I think that's probably why Casario is like, hey, just fucking ride it the fuck out, dude. Like Yeah, because like when we get rid of him, then it won't be that big a deal. Yeah, but I just know as a fucking Texans fan that we're gonna get a quarterback most likely with the number one pick, and that means that we take a step back in the rebuild. Yeah, you gotta let him develop, and you gotta. Let I'm him gonna develop. go ahead and fire the coach too. I'm firing Lovey. I'm people say it's a like not good for give- PR, but I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Fucking but, look what the Colts just did with Jeff Saturday. I mean, they yeah, but we fired two coach. coaches back to back, and it almost makes me wonder if we should fire Casario too. I feel if like you're gonna start over. Let's just start over. I don't, man. It's like, I do you 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 just fired two coaches? Do you trust him to keep hiring coaches? Or was Lovey Smith not really his choice? I don't think Lovey was. His- I don't think. But Lovey if you was say his Lovey was his cho- not his choice, then you have to say Josh McCowan was his choice. I think it was because somebody was about to hire that fool. Josh McC- I think it was Josh McCowan. <laughs> I think, and it's weird because the Jeff Saturday shit has opened the door now for it's like, hey, we weren't the first ones. Fuck it, y'all did it. I mean, the dude has no fucking credentials. He took a, a Colts team that looked like straight garbage to. A, against the Eagles last this past week and fucking almost beat him. But he's I'm not still saying around that football. He I works know. for ESPN. <laughs> McCowan just... goes to high school. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the old coaches talk shit like this is a disgrace to the coaching. You know, a lot of people put their work in. I agree. I get it. it you you put your work in on that stuff. But, hey, I mean, it's the dude's team. If he wants it, he wants it. Um, Here's but it's what just, I'm thinking. Yeah. So Tennessee plays defense and they run the ball, right? Yeah. Indy, best running back or second best, and they play defense. Tampa, well, they run the ball. They don't play defense. So. Yeah. I'm thinking we should be different and say, fuck it. Let's just use all our picks to build the offense. And we'll pay for a defense. Fucking... Like, get some receivers. This, like, I if you fire these fools, I think I would go try to steal Byron Leftwich off Tampa. That's a good one. And then hire Frank Reich as my offensive <laughs> coordinator. And yeah, like, I, all right, we can move the ball with this, I think. To me, I don't want to say this. It reminds me kind of like that year. I mean, Lovey, I still feel it needs to get fired. But I feel it's like <laughs> that year after the scandal with the Astros. You're kind of trying to just get through it out of after all the bullshit that That's you went much through. Grinky. And well, yeah, I just think it's like the Deshaun Watson shit and all that. Right. Like fucking uh fuck. 
was it Casario? <laughs> or oh yeah, Casario. Yeah, I, man, it's like we talked about it. What three weeks ago? I think the, his grades for the draft. Like, how do they look now? I mean, you just said it, the fucking lineman he got is trash. Um, Michi, you can't really grade because of course he's out. Mm-mm. Um, I'll give him a I'll give him a A minus for Pierce, but I'm almost to the point where I'm like two or three games I might be shutting Pierce down. Yeah. I don't want you hurt, bro. I don't need you. Uh, I I don't want to waste you for the rest of the season. Yeah. Like to this point, it's like your health is. I mean, if you want to play a little bit, I'll give you a few snaps here and there, maybe. But I don't want to hurt you for next season. Look Especially at Brees since Hall. We brought in Eno Benjamin. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> like Brees Hall, is, and I think that's maybe why they brought Eno in. Hey, we're gonna run you a bit more. Take out the I, load. after watching the past two Rockets uh, Texans game, Dare Dare. He, uh, Aguba Wale does really good catching the ball out of the backfield. Yeah. Like every time he gets in the game, Davis Mills finds him and he gets like a first down. I was like, why the fuck we don't do that more? Where's this guy been? Practice squad. That's how we get first downs. Not wait till the second quarter before we get a first down. Yeah, it. And that's why I said I feel some of it's coaching, and I I feel the way the team is. Everybody's like, oh, we need a fucking new owner. I mean. By no, that's not the by, by fucking thing. You got a new owner anyway, R.I.P. But they're like, oh, it's Jake Esterby. Okay, well he's fucking gone. Oh well, it's fucking Bill O'Brien. He's fucking been gone. Oh, it's because we got rid of Deshaun Watson. Well, that was Deshaun's fucking fault. Like, I mean, I don't know what you want. Like, you're bringing up shit that don't matter now. Like, it doesn't. Not what even matters now bit. is you're getting a fucking first round pick. Oh, we don't have a quarterback. You're going to draft a quarterback, so what's the problem now? You just like bitching or what? Because That's the biggest concern <laughs> that all Texas fans should have. It's like, what are you? who's your quarterback next year? That's the only thing that matters. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, everyone has us getting, a, what was it, Alabama's? Bryce Young? Yeah. Man, I'm conflicted about it. When's Who the draft? You? April 27th. I'll give you an answer on April 20th, uh, 7th. <laughs> the, the day of it, what we're doing. All the way up, man, all the way up until the pick is in, I'm going to be nervous. It's I'm those, fairly confident it's a quarterback, though. Everybody wants um, defense. That's what everybody's saying. They want defense. They want defense. They want defense. And it's well, like, here's my logic. It's like you have picks, and then you'll have money, right? Yeah. So do I want to use my picks on a defensive lineman, an interior lineman, which I've done for the past three or four years and none of them fucking work, or a middle linebacker and wait for them to develop or just go pay for a player who can do it? I'd rather go pay for it. Yeah, I'd rather pay for it. I know what I'm getting. You're going to give it to me. Cool. Especially considering <clears throat> Stingley and Petrie and all them boys are developing. It make it easier for them. Yep. So I would rather go do that and then – go draft young talent on offense to develop with my quarterback. I get a e. what Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and T Higgins and those boys did, you know? I mean, it, it makes sense. You're going to have Michi back. You have Nico Collins that actually is showing up this year. You'll have uh, Pierce as running back and you'll have a young quarterback. That's a whole nucleus of a team. You know, if they start playing well, you're literally back in stardom of fucking football. Right there. Not to there. mention, by our logic, if you're using the picks on offense, you'll have two first round picks probably in the top 10. So you use that second pick on a receiver. So you'll have a, like, go get somebody to play with Michi and Collins. Yeah. And you still might have Brandon Cooks. Yeah. I mean, at this point, the only one that, I mean, it looks like we're getting first unless we somehow miraculously start winning some games. Which... Oh yeah, we're not getting for. We're bad. We're a bad football team. We're bad, bad, bad. bad. Our defense is bad. It's bad. Our offense is bad right now. The only good thing we have is special teams. That's the only good thing we have. Is yep. Yeah, that's the only coach that gets to stay. Uh, Frank like, Ross. You can stay, Frank. Everybody else, I think you like you said, clean house to a point. Um, I do feel even if you get rid of Lovey, it's not going to be looked bad upon by the fans because. It's football. They want to win. So you all the should politics. create a poll because I really want to know that. <laughs> I like can't. Fa- I think that 
I want to know if people would like hold it like how would we word that? Be like, uh, would you be upset if the Texans? No, not upset because there's people who won't be upset. But the question should be is like, is it uh, unethical? Nah. Uh, 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 it would be something like, is it bad for Texans PR to fire two black coaches two years in a row? I can. Eh. I could put it on our community thing on YouTube and see what it says there. Yeah, I'll even put it. I can put on a poll in this video too. <laughs> see what it does. We're gonna be talking about the Astros. That question is gonna pop up. Like, they're like what the fuck? Eh? <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. I think, and nobody. I feel people are scared to talk about it because of the race card of it. But yeah. it's like as two minorities. I mean, we can literally talk about it. I feel because we're not. It's not racist. It's just it's being fucking honest. It's like. Like if you were to, to me, tell me the reason that I don't think race like it, it doesn't matter because yeah. Lovey was not Lovey was the easiest solution, yeah, to the Texans problem they were having at the time with the Brian Flores lawsuit. Yeah, that's how that <laughs> shit happened. Like if you were to tell me the Steelers are going to release Mike Tomlin today, Lovey, bye. Oh, for sure, bye. I I don't give a bye. I don't care, but bye, dog. Like. There's a few coaches like I'm like if you were to tell me hey Sean Payton wants to come and and coach, bye. Like no, I don't want him. <laughs> well, I'm just saying like there's certain like coaches that have like criteria where I could be like all right I can I can pick you. I feel like last year what hurt with the McCowan and the Lovey thing is McCowan's never coached, so you had what's kind of like the Jeff Saturday situation right now, and He's so it. it yeah, it tied, it tied into it. It's it's stupid. But the fact of it is, like, I feel where it's like now that that's happened, it kind of takes it away. I mean, even now with Lovey, people are still like, oh, this organization's trash because of this and because of that. I'm like, you literally are talking about shit like, oh, Andre Johnson doesn't come. Andre Johnson's there all the fucking time now. He was in that fucking Houston jacket that was clean as fuck. He was posing at the Astros thing. parade. That's why I'm like, what are y'all talking about, dude? Like, I was like, everybody knows what. Okay, SRB was a big ass problem. He's fucking gone. You, I, I have to give the owner credit where credit is due. He's fucking trying. He's staying out of the fucking way and trying. Yeah, I gotta really give it. Not to a him. problem at all. It's like, but y'all he's retarded just, too. Yeah, and he knows it though. He's like, oh fuck, I inherited a football team. Fuck. All right, well. To me, like the three owners we have in the, the teams, I mean, right now Jim Crane is doing a little Jerry Jones shit, but the three owners usually are okay. You do it, like for Tita, you don't hear from the motherfucker. You, Raphael Stone's At handling all. everything. <laughs> he fucking he handles it all. He's like, oh, you got it. All right, cool bet. All right, let me know so we know what to do. Who we're getting? They say his son does though. I could see that though. He's at like every fucking thing. I mean, he was in the in the draft room last time. <clears throat> you know what that's like if you were that rich and your dad owned them you'd be like uh you poor people play 2k i play the houston yeah. rockets <laughs> i play in real life but career mode eh? <laughs> gm mode yeah i don't know i i feel i don't want to say all that i mean of course the astros are at the top i just feel for right now it's a it's not a terrible time to be a sports fan in houston like the way people make it sound like nah. every, everybody makes it sound like, oh, can you imagine being a fucking Texans fan? Dude, we've only been established for fucking 20 something. Like the biggest argument I had with somebody, it was a, a dude that told me, and this is how I know he was freaking stupid, was like, you know, <laughs> I've been a fan of the Houston Texans since 1984. Bet you haven't. And I was like, that math does not add up at fucking all. First of all, and he goes, the Astros were never this bad. I go, bitch, we are in year 60 something and we have two championships. I'm not going to say that we were fucking dominant every fucking year before. Fuck no, dude. Where have you been at? I was like, we're in year 20. The Texans are a new team. The only team, like you said last week or two weeks ago, that makes us look bad is the Ravens because they came. Sorry, motherfuckers, too. Because Jacksonville is not that old either, but they suck. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, can you imagine being a fucking Cleveland Browns fan? Imagine them getting Deshaun Watson right now, and he sucks ass, and then you don't even get a first-round pick. 
because it's going to us. Like, imagine that being that fan base. Imagine being a New York Jets fan and you have Zach I wouldn't Wilson. I hate that right now. I mean, fuck, I don't want Zach Wilson my okay. quarterback. No, but would you take that team? Yeah, because they have Brees Hall coming back and they have a nice defense and Garrett Wilson. They got this, they just need a quarterback. <laughs> That's all they need. They, 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 pulled a, they pulled a Trubisky and fucking it's like, oh shit, we got the wrong one. Fuck. And I mean, quarterback's hard. Look at Herbert. Herbert was supposed to be this dominant thing. And I mean, yeah, you got a rib broken or some shit, but I always look. thought people overhyped him a little bit. Like he Lu- he reminds me of Brett Favre, where like he does a lot of cool <laughs> shit, highlight shit, but then every once, you know, like it comes to playing football, he 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 has a mental lapse. Like, oh shit. Oh shit. Hey. Oh, I'm not supposed to throw it there. Yeah. Yeah, I have him in fantasy. I know how that is terrible. I I, I drank what did the cooler on uh on TV yesterday. Do you think Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback? Like, do you think that we could be watching the greatest quarterback to ever play and not realize it? Yeah. I think that's possible. I I told Caleb this a week ago i was like at this point right now i have to go mahomes over josh allen 100 percent because i always he, did well you know, i know you always did but i was always like let's go bills and i feel that patrick mahomes even if he makes a mistake he has that where he has that thing where like i didn't want to give him time i don't want to give him a chance because he will fuck me over at some point it's not that. What it is is because I didn't realize it at first either. Because you can still root for the Bills. That's a good ass team. Josh Allen's yeah. a great fucking quarterback. Josh Allen allows himself to play with emotion sometimes. Like if somebody starts chirping or he gets popped, and he's like, "Oh fuck it, I'm just gonna run it myself," or "I'm gonna do it all myself," and that's why they lose some games. And you yeah. don't really see that with Pat Mahomes. Like he he he's like, "No, I'm gonna just be the best quarterback." He's and very like sling that hope. Yeah, he's very like country boy, like ironically. Like, like to I'm me, chill, I don't think he'll ever accomplish what Brady did, like <clears throat> yeah. winning wise. But then I always said Brady was like the goat, and then like the two best after that to me that I see were Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees. Yeah, but I actually feel like Pat Mahomes is better than Aaron Rodgers because like. I never thought Aaron Rodgers like mentally can control a game like those other guys, but they couldn't throw like him. Yeah. Pat Mahomes can. That boy can sling a fucking ball. I mean And he can think like those other guys too. So Yeah. And he's a dual I'm... quarterback. So it even makes it even nicer where it's like I I feel like with Mahomes, I have to admire what he does. Cause like you said. Five years from now, I could I could be watching this dude ball out this whole time. I mean, I got nothing else to do. My my team sucks right now, so I'm gonna fucking. At least I just always felt like one of the uh, better players. Like I think about it, like LeBron right now. It's like there's a lot of reasons people hate on that fool, but when he hoops, just enjoy what you watch. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't hate LeBron, the player of out there balling out like dude, fucking dumb. I don't care what nobody said. Dude can go in and get three bodies and fucking go and dunk on a motherfucker and then come back. And I mean, yeah, sometimes his jump shot ugly as shit, but sometimes boy cooking. Yep. Now it's the LeBron off the fucking court of his. Oh, I got to learn how to flop shit. Bro, shut the fuck up. Just <laughs> play the fucking game, dog. Like, like it's like Kevin Durant right now. Just stop talking, bro. Just go out there and fucking yep. play. Like, and I feel with Durant, it's more because he's in New York, so they both have to talk because you have the two biggest medias over there that don't shut up. That's it's your retarded, fault. though, that you're, you're supposed to be two of the super teams in the league, and y'all fucking suck, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that, man, that's the biggest thing, like, revolving back to fucking the big free agent in New York, Aaron Judge. He yep. was like, I don't give a fuck about this MVP. I want he literally said, I want a winning culture team. That's what I want. And I feel like the media hypes that's why I love what we do here. I'm not gonna hype you up just because you're the fucking Lakers or you're the fucking New York yeah. Yankees. I don't give a shit what you're doing. Sacramento's balling out, bro. Y'all need their player 
Lakers, you what the fuck are you doing? And LeBron even said it. Y'all wasting my fucking years here. Yep. And so that's what I feel like. I always tell people, yeah, our teams kind of suck, but it could be a lot fucking worse. Imagine having the best fucking player in the league and your team's fucking almost dead last. I can't speak for the Texans, but you can look at the Rockets and be like, it's almost kind of the same path as the Astros. Develop talent. Keep what's good. Find what works. And roll with it for a while. Six years later, six ALCS, two World Series wins, four World Series appearances. Like, that shit worked. You know what I mean? So if we, like you say all the time, if we suck for a couple more years, I'm good with it. As long as we're good for like five. Yeah. I mean, and you, we've, we've talked about it before on past episodes. Right now, the way the NBA is going is shifting. <laughs> like literally John Wall came out and said, oh, the veterans are being pushed out of the NBA. Yeah, that's called age, bro. Like the younger talents pushing y'all the fuck out. It's not because nobody's. Oh, Dwight Howard, you suck. No, it's just the talent in there is a lot better than what Dwight Howard gives me on my team. Man. It's not even yeah. talent. What it is is that players like John Wall came into the league and their biggest advantage at the time was speed, athleticism, and all that. So they kind of phased out all those older guys. Yeah. The Baron Davis is in all them other world. The Chaunceys. Okay, that's fine and dandy. Well, now it's happening to you. And yeah. you weren't as skilled as those guys, so that's why you can't stay in the league. And now, yeah, you said it perfectly. Oh, that is not – I think Bradley Bill said it on one of his Drew League or games or whatever. He's like, oh, you're athletic. Everybody in the damn NBA is athletic now. What else yeah. do you give me? What else are you good at? And I think, like, you said it best. Like, Carmelo, I'm not saying you can't ball, but if I can get a dude that's younger than you, athletic than you, gives me defense and you're shooting, I'm going with fucking that. I'm not – Dwight, yep. you can go ball out in Taiwan for all I give a shit. <laughs> but it's like, dude, I can get somebody way cheaper, way faster, way younger, develop them. I can do a lot more with that than I can with you. And it, it's just. Especially it's like, considering some of those veterans aren't very good veterans. Like, yeah, you're not a good role model, bro. It's like, and I'm like, John Wall, you're on the fucking Clippers now. What the yep. fuck are you complaining about now, dude? Like. You literally, like, he waits a whole, like, two years and starts talking shit about the Rockets. I'm like, nobody cares, dude. Like, we don't forgot about you. Yeah, it's like, I forgot you were on the fucking team, dude. Like, I was playing. I was like, oh, why is he playing so hard? I was like, oh, wait, he was on the team, I guess, in right tw- in the middle. In, in 2030, we won't remember. I will remember you were on the team, but not really. I'm going to forget. I'm going to have a random basketball card and be like, what the fuck? It's like I found a Scottie Pippen basketball card the other day with him on the Rockets. I was like, when the f-? I was like, oh, shit. One year. Yeah. Maybe I'm like, 90, yeah, run our test. 90. Wow. And it's like. One year. It, there's certain players I'm like, eh, fuck it. I don't really care. Like, Katino Mobley, I'll remember. Fucking Tracy mm-hmm. McGrady, I'll remember. I'll remember mm-hmm. Scott Padgett on the fucking Rockets more than I'll remember mm-hmm. fucking John Wall on this fucking team. Like. <laughs> It's like Ryan Bowen, like fucking like, Gerald Green has more of a legacy than you do. It's like they're just like, dude, I don't care. Like, I'm just like, no, like, I don't really give a shit. Like, like, imagine if Deshaun Watson starts to suck. Who would yeah. like what the fuck? Y'all got people are still gonna be mad. Oh, remember when we had Deshaun? I swear by it, bro. <clears throat> like the Shit just has a way of taking care of itself. I don't think he's gonna be good for that team. I don't either. Every, I there's, that's one thing. Like I'm, I'm in my head just about like I tell people they're like, oh, you're a hater, you're a hater because he did. I saw Deshaun Watson when he was great, and I saw him when he fucking struggled. He's not Patrick mm-hmm. Mahomes. I don't no. give a fuck. He's not. And and I, as much people wanted to say he was, he's not. I'll say he's a lower he's a Lamar. football player yeah he can he's, a, play. he's a football player yeah but he's not Mahomes. home and he it's, actually throws bad balls and that's yeah and we've talked about it on our earlier shows that we would do a lot there was times where he fucking lost games where he'd hold the ball too damn long try to make plays where he didn't need to make fucking plays and fucking throw the ball into the wrong areas and he'd Oh, well, you know, I don't know. It was, you know, I got to do better. Yeah, bro. After the fifth fucking week. Yeah. I hope you <laughs> fucking do better. Like, and it's just like, I'm not hating on him. I'm just speaking on what I saw. And we don't, ha- we don't get paid by anybody to fucking have to say, oh, he's fucking amazing and all that. No. If you tell me right fucking now, is there five quarterbacks you'd rather have right now over him? 
Of course. Is there 10 Mahomes, quarterbacks you'd rather have over him? Uh, he'd be closer <laughs> to that 10 range. Mahomes, That's how I feel. Allen, Herbert, Burrow. Um, Brady, Rogers. So he's probably right there around that Lamar Jackson range for me. I mean, Lamar imagine, Jack. Yeah, like that's how I feel. Like that's where you're at, bro. You're not A, you're like 1B. Mm-hmm. Like if I have you, cool, but I'm not like, oh, fuck, you're game changer, bro. Like I got. Like you're not Giannis, at, but yeah, good job, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, like I don't know. Like I'm just to the point where, like, like even Justin Fields, I don't know where the fuck he came from. These last two games, dude's been fucking balling, and yeah. I guess they're just letting him fucking play for fucking once. But if he starts fucking balling out and you fucking just don't play well, you're gonna be put under him at some point if you keep it up, like. If I see what you did those other years with us, I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah, you, bye. I don't really care. Thank you, Cleveland, for the. I pick. don't know if I could agree with that one. Justin Fields got to throw the ball more than ten times for me. No, he uh, does. But I'm just saying, like, there was that one. I I get that it was a bad year. It was just all over the fucking place with Bill O'Brien. But man, there was some bad games where Deshaun played some bad fucking games. I'm oh, like, it was fucking mi- miserable. It was <laughs> disgusting. It was literally games where you just hope that. DeAndre Hopkins would go murder the secondary so we could get <laughs> a couple fucking touchdowns. For real. No, I know. There was, yeah, there was a few games. And I think fans forget that. Like, they're like, oh, we would have kept Deshaun. We would have been amazing. No, the fuck. You don't know that. Like, fuck off. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not saying Davis Mills was our answer. As we can see, it's not. But, no. Like, like would you rather take Jalen Hurts over right now? Over who? Davis Mills? Sean? Um, I think they're very similar, yeah. I would. What about um, Tua? They're similar, I would. I mean, to me, it wouldn't matter. Like, if yeah. the conversation was the other way, we were hating on Tua, then I would, yeah, I'd take it to Sean. Uh, yeah. I don't see – I think you could do a lot of the same shit with him. Yeah. I, I see him in the, I guess, 6 to 10 if he – He's right there in that clump of the Dak, Deshaun, to uh, you know, Jay's contract says he's up there with Pat and <laughs> Kyler Murray. You know, he's probably a little ahead of the Kyler Murray, Kirk Cousins. Of yeah, the I mean, Kyler Murray's once Call of Duty came out, boy, but MIA, so it's fucking dude has Colt I McCoy mean, out there playing for him. <laughs> it's like New Orleans don't have a quarterback, the Jets don't have a quarterback. There's a lot of bad quarter. I can tell you this, like. I don't think this, like what uh, Gino's doing. That's kind of on. Like that would be a Deshaun Watson kind of season to expect. Yeah. He's I mean, like I... a, a a bad like a bad closer because Deshaun will have good games and then figure out a way to fuck it up and then his numbers are so good nobody remembers he fucked it six up. Six touchdowns and three interceptions and one fumble was like. But they won by six. It's like, huh? Oh, Christian Wood ass quarterback. <laughs> oh, don't even get them Dallas fans. Oh, y'all are stupid giving us the great player, Christian Wood. Like, okay, yeah, wait, wait till okay. what he doing? Luca is out. Nothing, dude. Fucking Nothing. Suck. blocked. How you get blocked and shit by fucking Sh- Sangoon and them? We'll get the fuck out of here. Okay. I don't, know I don't even know what was going on. Look, he looked like he ain't had a haircut since he went to Dallas. It looked like he had an afro and then he put a football helmet on and took it back off. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on with your hair? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That show's got paid, though. What they get? Makes the biggest postseason bonus in MLB history. The amount $516,347. The amount that each player of the 2022 World Series winning Astros receive as a postseason bonus. Sweet. Good job. So they getting paid. They got money. They get grills. They get rings. If you're they're single, they're probably getting some chicks in Houston. If they're not single, I ain't telling them nothing. Y'all, you know, fuck it. They're getting Enjoy. them hoes, too. Yeah. Enjoy it. You have age basketball, though, balling also. Rank number two. Number dose. They asked Kelvin Sampson. He's like, I don't give a shit about ranking. <laughs> he's like, that don't uh, matter. That's what I keep. 
I like that, what that I see. Team. It's a deep, deep team, man. I think we can I, – I, I think this <laughs> can be the team to win it. This is arguably the best team we've had since Fly Slamma Jamma years, I think. Like, I mean, those are hard because you had, of course, legends. Two Hall of Famers on it. <laughs> yeah. It's just like – but, I mean, the – what Kelvin Sampson's building in U of H and then going into a new division, more TV national more nationwide, money. like uh, eyes on you and everything. That's where we're getting these five-star recruits. That's where we're getting these big names. That's where you're getting players like, Hey, I want to stay. I want to yeah. want to see what, you know, what we can do. I want to go for a national title. And, and dude, that Arno Arno kid, the freshman they got from Beaumont, <laughs> that Joker can fucking hoop, son. That dude can hoop. I was yeah. like, all right, we got two freshmen who can ball, and we don't even need the the guard Arno because Sasser and Traymon and Sheed and it's Romeo deep. was like, we're deep, bro. <clears throat> that that is deep, and I mean, what happened last year was we had injuries, so yep. the the depth came in handy. But I mean, if, if you're healthy. You're looking at a, a nasty March Madness where you have a stellar coach with a, a staff that is built pretty much by him. And you have a team that is pissed off from losing, it seems like, last year. Came in hungry, got some fresh blood in, got some people back, and you're like, all right, let's go. And that Oregon game, I, I mean, I get or guess Oregon was not ranked, but Oregon's a good basketball team. Like, Fuck that team! That, that damn yeah. ugly ass court. There is yeah, no they, need for that they, ugly they, ass they, court. Ugly shit. I mean, and so that's one thing. Like, I feel you have to. If you're not enjoying the Rockets, go watch the Cougs. Like, that is a team right there that I feel the city does. They deserve the city to surround them and be like, "Yo, we got you." I don't give a fuck if you're a Texas A&M I'm... fan. I don't give a fuck if you're UT. I don't give a fuck. Go watch if the damn basketball cruise. fan here. That's your best bet to to cheer. But final four is here. <laughs> we got to win it at the house in Houston. That city will go fucking. The city's gonna go crazy if that happens. It's gonna be motherfuckers without a high school diploma or a GED rocking a U of A shirt. <laughs> go Cougs! Hey. Go, go Cougs. fucking Cougs! Hey. You'll be like, what, what school did you go to? Ah, oh, no, I went to San Jack, but yeah, like, hey. don't worry <laughs> yes. about it. Uh, their next game, they play Kent State. I mean, it's funny because wow. you they play Kent State. Kent State's five and oh, we're five and oh, ESPN plus Saturday, and then fire stick. Yep, that's the best way to get it. And then they'll play <laughs> Norfolk State on yeah. November 29th. Where the fuck that? I mean, who's number one right now? I know North U- Carolina. Yeah. UT's fourth. So from the way I interpret it, like everybody talking about it, I feel like a lot of people think we have a better team. They have a bigger team. So it just yeah. really comes down to like, if we play them, could we uh, re- could we rebound with them? Can they defend our guards? So I ain't scared. Nah, this, this is a, this is a team where I'm like, I can't say, oh, they're not playing quality stuff. I mean, it, I guess you're not. It, it's always an argument, but in college, that I ain't mean, our fault. Yeah, in our uh, that's our division we're in. I mean, and the schedule they gave us and shit. I mean, you knew what we were coming up with. Yeah. I mean, next year when we're in the the new division, maybe they they change the shit up and all that. I mean, I still don't think Big we're gonna twelve. No, I don't hell no. We're just gonna do like, good. That's like, gonna I be like a cool. legit basketball conference. Yeah, that Big 12 is going to be fun to watch if you're a basketball fan. What you're I'm saying fine. to me is that we should go to a game this year before the tickets get high. For sure. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Would they, once, they, once people get on the bandwagon of, oh, man, the yeah. Cougars, Cougars are, are winning, they're going to, yeah, all right, okay, now it's getting packed over here now. <clears throat> I mean, look at Astros gear. You used to be able to buy it for regular price. Now they tax like a motherfucker on this shit. Motherfucker well, used to go to uh, Academy <laughs> and see a Carlos Lee jersey next to yeah. a Ty Wigginton jersey, and it'd be like, yeah. buy one, take as many as you want. Like I, I told my girls, like, you want to give me anything for Christmas? I'll take some a Jalen Green jersey. I'll take, like, somebody I know is going to be on the dancing. Don't give me no Texan shit right now. 
If you no. if you buy me a Davis Mills jersey, I'm gonna tell you we need to take this shit back. <laughs> like, cause I know you got it Dude. on sale. He ain't gonna be there. Well, maybe a Petrie or a Stingley. I could see those two. Those would be a like I don't know. There's just certain people that get jerseys and like like anybody at a Texans game, and you're still complaining that you're going there and lo- wasting your money. That's your fucking fault. You, I, I think you're right though. At this point. <clears throat> it's time to build an Astros jersey collection. Like, I need an Altuve and I need a Tucker. Yeah. I think Altuve is that one where, like we always say, he's the best Astros player there is or easily. I yeah. need to get an Altuve jersey and I need him to sign it. <laughs> like, I need to go to him to sign it. And then I'll frame it. Well, Rich, we're coming for you, bro. We need help, man. I need a. So we could do like the the fucking dummies around here and go camp out all day. Nah, that's that's ridiculous. Them them motherfuckers. All those people that went to Raising Cane's to go see him do a commercial, and you just sat outside. I couldn't even go that way for fucking lunch because of y'all motherfuckers. Which one did he go to? The one out in Golf Gate. Oh. Which is fucking terrible because there's literally a Chick Fil A and a fucking Popeyes right fucking next to each other in a gas station part like it's just terrible they blocked traffic they were i love you. like you're a grown-ass man screaming <laughs> i love you baby. like get the fuck on dog like get the fuck on so i get my chicken sandwich yeah i was like damn dog like i was you get like, Popeyes, you like chick-fil-a chicken sandwich i kind of like i'm a popeyes. popeyes guy yeah i'm a popeyes guy like i fucks with popeyes like I'll eat their chicken three different ways and i'm like cool like i'll eat yeah, i uh, fucks with popeyes heavy uh I even got their app. <laughs> I need to get that shit. I had it on my other phone. I was like, I they give it. you a lot of free shit on their app. Damn. That's why I'm going you tomorrow. Use it a lot. Hear that, Caleb? We're going to fucking pop it. Right. Yeah, me and Caleb ate this place called Seven Pies by your hood. Seven Pies? It's where the, by I 10, by the Jack in the Box and the Whataburger, where the churches used to be. Wayside, yeah. Yeah, it's like right where the old churches used to be. It's called Seven Pies. It's a, a pizza place. Hmm. They had a bunch of big ass steroid wings and shit. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm it was, it was good. Though. Come on. I was like, the oh, churches is closed. What the fuck? Yeah, there's no churches there. <laughs> My aunt lives down the street, so that's all right. I, I never went to that churches because churches is fucking nasty. I'm not going to churches when there's a Popeyes right here. <laughs> yeah, nah, I don't blame you. Fuck that. I, I don't like churches. I, I only thing I ever liked there is their biscuit. Word. Everything else, I'm like, they closed all the ones by my job, thankfully. I was like, fuck, this is the only thing open. Man. But I don't know. I think it's Houston fans can calm the fuck down, man. Yeah, it's two days from Thanksgiving. Calm the fuck down. You get your turkey, you get your football, sit your fat ass on the couch like the rest of us, and we'll enjoy <laughs> it together. Oh man, yeah. I mean, Thanksgiving's coming up. I you was know. born on Thanksgiving, so that's why I like it so much. Oh shit, is that gonna be eating good? Oh shit, yes, Angels sir. made a move. What they do? Angels acquired outfielder Hunter Renfro. Oh, he was at uh, from the Brewers. Put- is that where he was? Well, he, yeah. who did he didn't he just get traded? I don't I know. know. They, gave, they gave up three players for him. Well, now we got to deal with that fucker. That's why, I, I mean, the division is, we have no GM, so our division is just straight up like, oh, let's build. I mean, the Rangers yeah. got money to play with, but I'm not worried about them, so. No, not even a little bit. Our, it all goes back to our pitching, bro. Yeah. Arguably, not even arguably, the numbers were fucking their best bullpens in fucking postseason history. Yeah, we're dope. Foster, Javier, Framber, we're good. Rest up, enjoy your alcohol, go and party. Um, I'll see y'all. Framber, please don't come back next season with that hair. The fucking, the fucking predator hair. The predator yeah. hair. I don't know. Maybe you should. Maybe it was good luck. I think he changed it up. I think he had like a no. It was uh, Yuli. He had like dreads or some shit. Mm. Put his hair in like dreads or some shit. I'm cool with it. 
Yeah, they, I ain't worried. Y'all, y'all do y'all's thing, guys. Um, if you're watching soccer, good luck because that shit's fucking hard to watch. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, Dynamo made some moves. I don't really know what the fuck they're doing. Nah. Um, there's nothing We're just else. just going to watch basketball and the fucking frustrating ass Texans game, and then we'll let y'all know what's up. Mm hmm, for sure. Um, Y'all check us out. Facebook, YouTube. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. We're out of this. Later. Peace. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.